Good evening, wonderful people, great dear friends, great youths of Nigeria, lovers of freedom, those who believe in the truth, wherever you are, even those who are injured, those this evening who are nursing their wounds or counting their losses, I welcome each and every one of you to this live presentation from this hallowed institution of Radio Biafra. Because you're listening right around the world, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you. Because there is no other indigenous broadcaster like us. That is why this evening, with great humility and submission to the will of God, we have all gathered to partake in this gospel of redemption. If you don't know what redemption means, please do check it up in your dictionary. We are the children of light, the generation that have said that enough is enough. All that rubbish has to come to an end. And it is with great honor that we shall continue to serve all of you until freedom is assured. My name is Namdekano, the leader of the largest mass movement in the whole world and the most potent mass movement on the face of this very earth. Exceptionally formidable, unbreakable. I am also the director of Radio Biafra. Biafra Television, but above all, a servant of not just Biafra now, but the youths of Nigeria. By the grace of the Most High, we have come to serve you in truth and in every honesty. If we tell you something that you find out later on to be falsehood, Please stone me. We do not lie. Can never lie. That is why we always win. Every endeavor we go into, we always win. Because we are whiter than white and whiter than snow. I never get to poor. The zoo is rocking. And it's going to fall. All the forces of darkness are gathering, but you must remain resolute. It's a revolution. You must remain resolute, fixated on the ideals. If they don't want us to conduct protest peacefully on the streets, then we go into the bushes. That's how it is done everywhere else. This evening, we give glory to the Most High in heaven, and we are going to pray. It doesn't matter who you are, but everybody believes in something. And do you know the funniest thing? Every religion on this earth believes in the existence of one supreme God Almighty in heaven. And unto that very God are we going to pray this evening. So everybody can participate. They cannot divide us. They have not given birth to them because this generation is more intelligent than they are. And we are going to defeat them. The only thing you have to be afraid of now is fear itself. If you allow fear to overwhelm you, then you're finished. There is no hope. Not for you, not for your children, and not for our future generations to come. 
But if we remain resolute, if we continue to protest, regardless of the consequences or the cost, victory is assured. Victory is assured. And we are winning. We are winning. Now listen very carefully, please, as we pray. Wherever you are, it doesn't matter the religion you belong to. Because there is the existence of time. The time now is six minutes past 8 p.m. in the blessed land of Biafra and also in Nigeria itself and by the same number of minutes, six minutes past the top of the hour, regardless of where you are around the world. We are going to pray to that God Almighty, we call, we call him God, that made it possible for everything that we see around us today. Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, the giver of life. Before 2020, we were born. We came into existence for a purpose through your divine mandate. You mandated that our parents should give birth to us. We didn't know who we were before we came until we acquired consciousness because only you is the author and the finisher of everything that we see around us. You are also a compassionate God and a God of mercy. A God of mercy. And since you created man in your image, every man must have empathy and mercy. Anybody who doesn't have empathy and mercy is not your child because that person was not formed in your image. Nigeria has no empathy and it has no mercy. That is why it kills its children. That is why it devours its citizens. That is why there is so much criminality so much hatred and so much anger, so much venom, those that brought themselves out to serve are criminals. And your words taught us that criminals should feel shame. Only in Nigeria does a criminal rise up in the morning and be shouting on top of his voice openly and being very boastful about it. One of those criminals is no more. He's on the run. All of them are going to run from the people because you have vested power in your children. All of us see that this very work may be done in the year 2020. As we march every blessed day, morning, noon, and night, we must consider the mercy of God upon our lives and we call upon him this very evening, for there is no other God apart from thee. For you said in the book of Ephesians 6.10, Finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God and armor of truth and consistency that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the enemies, the schemes of the devil. They are all devils. The politicians are devils and we must stand very strong. If you relinquish, if you retreat now, the mercy of God will depart from us and we don't want it. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers of iniquity in the damnable zoological republic. We are fighting against the authorities of darkness, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness. We are fighting against spiritual forces of tribalism, of ethnicity, of hate and evil, even in heavenly places. Therefore, this evening, O oh, Heavenly Father, you will give us your armor 
to shield and to protect us that we may be able to withstand all that they have planned to throw at us because these days are filled with evil and having done all of that with your grace and your mercy we are going to stand firm and victory will come to those that persevered. We thank the Heavenly Father for what you have done in our lives and will continue to do in our lives. That your glorious name may be praised, not by this generation of 2020, but by every other generation to come. Because they shall say in the times of their fathers, they called upon the Lord and the Lord God Almighty delivered them. That is how we shall be referenced for eternity. Though that only thee is mortal, what our young people are doing on the streets of Nigeria is the craving of immortality. But in all, every honor adoration, adulation, submission, and glory shall belong to thee and thee alone. He said, he said, we are live and we are direct. And that's a rock is shaking because of that. All the liars and the deceivers, they are on the run. People that thought that they were an institution, they have been reduced to nothing. Because power belongs to the people. The power is yours. Not that thing, that rubbish you watch right now for 10 minutes. What an insult. What an insult, I say. Are you people human beings? Who watch that rubbish for 10 minutes? Who in their right mind will ever concede that that nonsense that appeared on your screen is a human being? Nigeria. Is not just run by the Fulani cabal. There is also another cabal. Another cabal that wants to keep the zoo going because they hope that one day they too may ascend into high political office and they will start to eat as the rest of them have eaten those that went before them. Now, anybody who spent time watching that very nonsense today anybody who spent 10 of their precious minutes watching that garbage if you are discerning enough if you are intelligent enough if your two eyes are working even one is working even though you may be impaired or you are short-sighted or long-sighted if you watch the idiot on the screen when he brings his head down, you look at him, you will know that whoever is wearing that mask is not up to 40 years of age. But all of you are there. Now, let me tell you one thing about Nigeria that I find astonishing. is how people are comfortable with lies. I don't know how people can be comfortable with lies people lying you know that the broadcast is not live you know that very well don't you who in their right mind i am reading some of your comments on facebook who on their who in their right mind will ever stand up and say that what you saw on the that travesty that joke that insult you saw this evening is a live broadcast who can say that it was live now this evening i want to take you into the mind of nigeria not nigerian youths i want you to understand the demon that is controlling nigeria i want to ask you again was that program live that you saw that 10 minutes of of drivel you saw was it live i am sure you know the answer is no how do you know it's not live it's very simple the way that we are cutting it when there is heavy editing you can see you watch it after a, a while, there is a break in the, in the transmission and uh, the picture will come again. That is editing, where they have joined it. It's called cut and join. And I want to shock all of you. 
I want to surprise all of you. The thing that you saw reading that junk this evening is not a human being. It is called deep fake. That is the reason why they had to cut and join. Cut it and join. Watch it again, please. You will, you will see it. You will see it on the screen. They were cutting and joining, cutting and joining. That is the reason why it is like that. It's called AI, artificial intelligence. I can make you sound like Buhari. We have the software. If you want to sound like the dead Buhari, you just speak the voice and you drag it in. You drag the face and you put it on. It is there. It is not rocket science. That is why he cannot speak live. Because there is nobody to speak live. Simple common sense. There is nobody to speak live. You may be thinking you are seeing a human being. It is called artificial intelligence deep fake video. That is how they are running a country. That is, that is why they cannot stay for more than seven or ten minutes. Every time, seven or ten minutes. The country is burning, is in a rage. The idiots never, or they, the people that put the video together because there is no Buhari, they, they couldn't even empathize with the families of the victims. They never talked about the innocent victims. They keep talking about budget sharing money, what they are doing, budget sharing money. There was no mention of compensation and they were threatening the use of force. They were threatening the use of force. People we are concerned that we are looking for, we found Okezi as we know where he is of course and the place is surrounded, he cannot escape. He cannot escape. We know where he is in Arochibu and he will be tried and he will be hanged in public. Forget all those village nonsense people are doing. Let me tell you one very horrible thing about Nigeria. They are not honest people. The amount of, let me, apart from these brave young youths, these graduates and doctorate degree holders who are out on the streets, this intelligent bunch of people out on the streets, Nigerians, the older generation, they are a bunch of liars. You may see them with gray hair. Oh, uh, um, that thing that an elder can see sitting down. You can, they are all deceivers and they, they, they want you to die. They want you to die. So them, they, 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 them and their children will continue to enjoy. Was the program live? What you saw, they claim that deep fake video, was it live? No, it wasn't. Now, ask yourself this question. If everybody have agreed that it was recorded, ask yourself this question. Why did you put live on it if it's not live? A very simple question. If Buhari's transmission this evening, or so they claim is Buhari, that deep fake video, if you claim that deep fake video is live, is, is live, why was it that you have considered that it was recorded? If NTA knew it was recorded, if channels knew it was recorded, why would journalists that took an oath to be objective be lying and deceiving 200 million people? Why? Ask yourself that question. They know that we know it was recorded. Yet they put live on it. Do you know why they, do, why they do such things? They are telling you that you're a fool, you don't have any brain, you cannot reason very well. That is what they're saying to you. And that is why the demand for whoever they claim is Buhari to address the people live is very, very paramount. If they can speak live, come out and speak live, do a live uh, and press interview at the steps of Asorok. I'm not asking them to go to National Assembly. I swear to God Almighty in heaven, I will apologize to everybody and I will abandon their fragitation. There is a saying where we come from. And now you may as well say, I gave you a come one. You don't hide to go to your mistress's house or your concubine. I may even say concubine. 
because I know where the husband is. The husband is in the grave. Once a, 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 a woman is widowed and you're befriending that very woman, if you're going to her house, are you going to be afraid? Because you know the husband is not there. But anytime you're going to the, a, a, a woman's house that the husband is alive, you keep waiting, waiting to hear the, the, maybe the sound of the, the, the engine of the car or the horn or somebody knocking on the door so you can jump through the window. But once the husband is dead, you know you go with confidence. Is that not the case? That is what they are doing to all of you. They think you're stupid. They think you don't know anything. They think they have the army and they have the police. And let me also astonish you. This conspiracy to cage all of you is not just down to the Fulani. It is not just down to the Fulani. They have their agents everywhere. The, those their agents are the ones now putting pressure on you to stop protesting. They like Nigeria the way it is. They like that only them can afford the generator. They like the fact that they travel with convoy or they can fly if they want to because they can afford it. Every year, the same rubbish. Oh, things are going to get better. Oh, don't worry. Over time, things will get better. But nothing ever gets better. And you know that, and I know that very well. Now that the young people have come out demanding for proper change, for proper change, what are they doing? Oh, go back, we have heard. I was hoping that whoever edited this deep thick video will be able to include by saying, number one, this is what we have done to end SARS. Number two, here is the replacement. Number three, here is the compensation package. Number four, this is this. What they are hoping to do is to divide you with tribe and religion. They sent their thugs to attack the protests and they failed. Now, what they have done, what Britain, what Catriona Lang has done is to say, why waste your effort attacking a protest that contains every tribe, I will call you tribe now, every tribe or ethnicity in Nigeria. That will draw sympathy to the protesters. What you're going to do is this. You go to Kanu, you attack Igbo businesses, you go to Lagos, you attack anybody, you attack people on the streets, you attack businesses, you go to Iguata and you do the same thing. And when we come to Kanu, we say, it's always house attack, never full on Understand this very carefully. Now, when you go to Kanu, they say, the house people attack Igbo businesses. You go to Lagos, they say Igbo. No, for the very first time, Igbo people, IPOB people attack uh, uh, Yoruba assets. Do you see how foolish they are? They think they are smart. They never said it in Ubu because Tinubu will never ever attract any sympathy. So what they said is Leg uh, Yoruba assets in Lagos. They think they are clever. But I'm saying to Britain, we are more clever than you are. No Yoruba assets we are damaged in Lagos. Unless you're telling me that Bola and Medi Tinubu's private properties now belong to the whole of Yoruba, which is a lie. The man that built industries across Yoruba land, his name is Chief Obafemi Awolowo. The companies that he built are under the Odua group of companies. His own private um, um, investment arm is, was called, is called Didolu. I want them to understand that we know history very well. Now, for you to claim that the assets destroyed in Lagos belongs to the Yoruba race, Yoruba assets, as they are claiming, they have to come under the Odua group of companies. Now, I want to ask you, the Orient Hotel belonging to Tinubu, is it managed by the Odua group of companies that is owned by the whole of Yoruba people? The answer is no. Then how can you lie and deceive people 
they pay some journalists to write junk lies to say it is Yoruba assets in order to introduce the tribal dimension into it to see if they are going to divide us. That's what they always do. You saw today of that thing, whatever thing they put together on video was the same thing they did to the announcement that I was making to the directives that I was giving on the night that young people and massacred at Lake Itogate. They took what I said, deep fake, cut bits and pieces and joined it together to appear as if I said, oh, my, my, my boys attacked Lagos. That is what they do. They think they are smart, but they are not. It, these are all lies. If you want to know what I said, go and listen to the full broadcast of the 19th of October. It's on IPOB Community Radio. You don't need to look for it. Download IPOB community app. Scroll the podcast to the 19th of October and you listen to it. That will tell you all that. In fact, no, it's the 20th actually. 20th of October, that will tell you all you need to know. But they cut bits and pieces. They think they are smart. You know, uh, that nonsense with APC. Uh, after all, we convinced Nigerians that uh, Buhari is a good man and they, they foolishly voted for him in 2015. So we can deceive everybody now. Let's go to market. All of you, hey, uh, Tunde, come. Let's do something. Let's, uh, uh, let's razzle them. You are a fool. You are dealing with IPOB. Our media is, uh, is unmatchable. I'm telling you that. Wherever you hide, we find you. Even those making mouth now very on in Turkey, they are now back in the zoo and we'll find him. That is how formidable we are. People don't know who we are. They think that oh, he's just a, oh, I know him now. Oh, he, he's my father. He's my he's my he's my homeboy. Oh, I know him. You don't know who we are. Now the zoo understand who we are. Now they know. They are playing their last card. Tribalism and religion once you sustain their onslaught for only six days those strategies of theirs will be wasted now they will negotiate when you were watching that idiot speaking did that fool say or ever say we are setting up a panel to investigate what happened. Did he say we are prepared to dialogue with youth leaders in Nigeria? He never said that. Because he's not a human being. He cannot show emotion. That is just something, is a computer generated image. It is called deep fake. Go and Google it. Deep fake and artificial intelligence. It is there. I want the world to understand what is happening in Nigeria. We want the whole of humanity to understand the depth of deception. Now, how many of you tonight will write to, to, to channels or to NTA to ask them, how can you say that this is live when it is not live? But all of you, you saw live and you kept quiet. The same way all of you saw that Buhari was no more, but you couldn't speak. You were scared. We are not scared. I'm not scared. We are IPOB. We tell you the truth. You may not like it, but it is the truth anyway. The people that claim that they are leaders, they are grown up, they are elders who should be concerned about the welfare of their children, slaughtered and murdered at Lake Itogate, none of them is speaking. What they want to do is to peddle the lie that Igos are fighting Yoruba, damaging Yoruba assets in Lagos. Pure lie. Because they want to deceive us. They want to deceive us. And we are saying, no, I want them do not fire at the protesters. If you do, you will enrage them. If you enrage them, there will be consequences. They don't listen. They are now 
ganging up together. Oh, if Tinubu Shotel is born in, in, in Lagos, maybe my own investments are also at risk. Oh. That is why they are ganging up. All of them, that's what they do. They gang up. They tell their irats. They tell all their the fools they've promised uh, 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 jobs as aides and senior special assistants on that rubbish. People who are crying are those that feel that they have missed out on Tinubu becoming the president in, 20, in 2023. That's all. Forget all that. All those, you know, uh, uh, righteous, should I say, fake righteous indignation. It is a lie. That is who they are. Deceivers. And here, we must speak the truth always. Regardless of the, I don't give a toss who you are. The truth must be spoken because that is my covenant with God Almighty in heaven that you must speak the truth always regardless of the consequences and that's what we are doing. That's what we're doing. You saw people being massacred. In the night, we were playing it here. What concerned, Niamh never said anything about it, oh. it is to issue a very pathetic and wretched statement saying, uh, uh, we disown Namdekan. We are looking for you, oh, and we are going to find you. I got to in. I got to you, you'll be hanged outside. This is a revolution. You'll be hanged outside, I'm telling you the truth. You can write, you can hide somewhere and write your junk. And one idiot in Enugu can write it, can publish it for you. But we will find you. There will be no peace. There will be no mercy. Okay, son of Hanyanaji, you called Buratai to kill your children. So you claim after killing them, you now want to turn around because you want to run for vice president with Ohaneze. You want to, to build your profile to go and serve the zoo in Abuja. Because of that, everybody is expendable. He never talked about the Igbo businesses being destroyed in Kano. He used to come out and say that he is sorry and that uh, uh, Igbo's destroyed the Yoruba assets. Can you believe such nonsense? And you call yourself an elder, somebody with brain. You call yourself a leader, somebody who is grown up. You are behaving like an adult in the motorpark. Who can maybe speak English language? That's all you are. We shall find you. I got your time. You know that the land belongs to us, to ordinary people, to those youths who are fighting for their tomorrow. Not you, that your yesterday was a failure. Your yesterday was a. All of you ganging up. Oh, we want Nigeria to. We, the leaders of Nigeria, I want to ask you a question. What have you accomplished for the people? What have you done? Show us one achievement you have made collectively for the country. None. You, you claim you're a leader. Is there any electricity? Simple things. So is there any electricity? You claim you're a leader. You are an intellectual. You know this. You, every time you come on TV and you talk rubbish and you disappear and nothing happens. I'm asking you, what have you achieved? It's a simple question. And the answer, sadly, is nothing. Are there good roads? I'm talking about, I'm, I'm, not, even, I'm not even going to jobs. Do you have good roads? So how come, Dr. Michael Opara, how come Awolowo, how come uh, 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 Sadwana of um, Sokoto, Amadubel, how come they could build industries in their areas in those days, and all of you put together, you cannot do anything now. Instead, you shut down the industries. You use the money to go and open your own private factory. Manufacturing the same thing from, oh, these people are evil, I'm telling you the truth. That is why they're ganging up. Oh, is it, uh, have you heard that video? You know, you see grown-up men gossiping. Oh, have you heard that video? Did you hear the voice of a number? Hey, hey, hey. The idiot, the, they can't even sit down to put everything into context, to say, did this thing happen or not? No. What they were concerned about was, they think they can play all those their games. I can, I, I can make a very good speech sound very horrible. I can take what you have said, and I keep editing. If I edit, I join. I, I get an audio software. I edit and I join. And make your speech look horrible. That's what they did. 
because Tinubu was on the run. And today, so it was the IPOB and then Namde County in London that manhandled his son. Have you not seen the video? And please look for it and put it on my wall. Have you not seen the video of Tinubu's son being manhandled in London? Have you not seen it? Because the people are now wiser. And on that note, I want you to listen to something. You must listen to it. Because it is very, very critical that people understand. That you understand that you are holding your future in the palm of your hands. I know that some of you in Abuja, you are listening tonight because Radio Biafra is in Abuja. You are listening. They burnt your cars, destroyed your businesses, and some of you are contemplating giving up. A typical black way of reasoning. They never persevere. That was why only 20,000 white people conquered the whole of Africa. They left Europe. They suffered malaria. They suffered dysentery. They suffered everything. But they were still in Africa. And they conquered all of us. And created the, 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 the idiotic contraptions that you call countries in Africa today. They persevered. If it's black people, they run back. Hey, it's too much. Hey, have you not seen loss of life? Hey, hey. But before you were born, do you know a lot of people died before you were born? Are you aware of that? Because when your father slept with your mother, only one, 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 one head. I don't know what is, is uh, I, I didn't do biology very well. Do you know that once the egg of your mom is fertilized, every other organism around the egg dies so that that one can survive. Are you aware of that? So there are other people that could have come instead of you, but they all died in order to give you a chance to survive. That is a lesson in nature that most people don't even appreciate. That you survived, that you are the one that fertilized your mom's egg. Other of your siblings had to die in your mother's womb that to give you a chance to survive. It's called sacrifice. But you don't know that. Without sacrifice, there can be no freedom. That is a fact of life. And right now, anybody contemplating stopping this very revolution you will be in a worse mess. Now look at, let's say uh, that before you were thinking, oh man, we, we need to stop, who knows? After listening to that video, because he's not a human being, it's, it's just um, a, a movie. After watching that movie put together in Asrock, are you infused? Do you believe more in Nigeria? Are you now more patriotic? I'm sure that the answer to all of all the answers to those questions is no, no, no. Then why are you going to stop? If you stop, you're finished. Stop and they bring something that is worse than SARS. And then you will understand. These are the things you need to know. I want to go to London. Where they did the protest. To get you what somebody said. About Nigeria. And their attempt to divide us. They think, you know, they think they, this world, they know the world, we actually went to school. They think they're the only ones who are educated. They don't know how educated we are. That we are more intelligent than all of them put together. One protester on the street is more intelligent than all of them put together. They were there cooking, conniving. Hey, come. Hey, hey, Baba. Hey, what are we going to do? We need to do something. Oh, we need to do something. The country is burning. Oh, do something. What you need to do is a root and branch overhaul of the entire system. They think they have guns, and because of that, we are going to get scared. We run away. After a while, they will run away. No. You are going to see something that will consume you. Now, let me warn all of you. If, if, if this time, even this time last month, when you say, oh, Jagaban for 2023, they said to you that Tinubu will run from Nigeria. Will you believe it? It's a simple If they tell you by this time last month, that Tinubu will run away from Nigeria, that his son will be manhandled in a protest in London. Will you believe it? I'm sure the answer is no. Nothing is impossible when there is the will of the people. 
the type of Nigeria you want, you can have. As long as you have the willpower and the mental discipline to remain focused and to pursue that very thing. The thing with black people is that they get easily distracted. The reason why we are where we are today in terms of our might and global reach is because we are focused. We have a tunnel vision. We don't look right or left. It is only straightforward. One, with one mission in mind, freedom. And that is what I want every Nigerian youth to imbibe in their brain. Don't, now listen. Don't listen to all this. I'm your father. Listen to me. What have you done for me? Papa, do I have light? No. Papa, is there any good road? No. Papa, can you save me from SARS on the road? No. Then what are you doing? What then can you do for me? A simple question. You claim I'm an elder. You must listen to me. Elders are wise, and I'm asked as an elder. Why is it that you did not use all that of your wisdom to build roads for us? Since you're, you're a wise elder now, and you were in office, you're a politician for very many years, for many decades. I'm asking you again. Why is it that Enugu to Igbocha is unpassable? Why is it I cannot travel from Monetia to Enugu? Papa, you are wise, oh, you are, you are, you are an elder statesman. What have you done for me? I am your child. I am your grandchild. You were in office. You were controlling budgets. What have you done for me? Are any of the refineries working? Is there any refineries working? So, Papa, you are wise, oh. Why is it that you are importing petrol from outside instead of refining it here? Papa, you are intelligent. You are a, 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 a I'm asking you, you claim you're intelligent. You are the intelligentsia, the, the elite. I'm asking you, you are an elite. Me, I know nothing, I agree. But why are you importing petrol when you have refineries? <laughs> and then they start floundering all over the place. That is, they know nothing. All they know is to gossip and to lie and to stifle the future of their children. They are the problem their children are having. They themselves that the these people you are seeing conniving and lying, bringing tribe into it. As old as in the is, he wants to use tribe. Can you believe that? Can, I can't understand these people. I don't know the way they reason. I'm telling you the truth. These people are evil. You want to bring tribe. Into this, so that Yoruba will start fighting Igbo. Igbo will fight Yoruba. Uh, Awosa will fight Igbo. Uh, 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 maybe uh, uh, Wari will fight Awosa. And they're enjoying. And after doing it for a while, Nigeria will become the same old, stupid Nigeria. And their children will keep enjoying. And for you to have decent or normal life, you must be like them. You must behave like them. That is what we're against. That is what all those young people on the street are against. That the time has come for a change. Not your cosmetic change. Proper, genuine, long-lasting change. And the children are determined. Determination. If you stop protesting, believe you me, uh, you know now, when I tell you something, yeah, it's Oh, that man said the way he sounds. <laughs> no, leave him. Oh. You know, when I tell you something, it must surely come to pass. Because let me tell you what they will do. If you succeed in listening to them and not coming out to protest, let me tell you what is going to happen. They will quell the revolution. After a while, they will hunt all of you down one after the other and kill you, but that, that is not even the issue. They will make sure they will put in place systems that will never, ever, ever allow a repeat of such an event. Again, ever. And you're finished. This is a revolution. You must be consistent. That was why I said, don't touch people's private properties. They don't reason. They don't want to understand. If you keep doing it, the revolution will not focus you will divert your energies into doing things that don't really matter. And after this revolution fails, do you think Nepal will give you light? 
I understand now that people have not seen light for years. Now there is light. They want you to stay indoors and watch DSTV. Even for free. We understand. These are the things that you need to know. I, am, I will finally now go to London to play you what somebody said at the rally there. They did very well. I'm waiting to hear about New York and also Washington. Listen. What, what's your reaction to what's happening in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. I'm a professor. I'm a Nigerian. I'm Professor Bessie and I've seen the evil in the government that kills its children. I don't mind you killing adults. They kill the children and the children are asking for one thing. The children are asking they didn't ask for money, they asked for justice. How can you kill your children when in the zoo, in the zoo, the animals take care of their children? But in Nigeria, the idiots kill their children. And then the, the governor of the state came out to say, nobody died. Because he hired his hoodlum to carry the dead. He just sent a fax now, he just sent a message. I'm just on Downing Street now, and I'm going back to Downing Street. He sent a message to Downing Street saying, nobody died. So why would you say a lie and tell a bigger lie to cover it up? When I have the photographs of the people that died. I have the photographs of the people that died. Okay, well, as you know, the government disputes the fact that people have died. Can you believe that? Do you know that, you know, uh, sometimes I, I get so upset sometimes. I don't know why God made me a black man. I'm telling you. I don't, can't understand it. Do you, when I told you people that the British High Commissioner is the one running the show, you didn't believe me. But from this little interview, if you have brain, this woman in Abuja, Katrina Lang, you, you saw the videos, you saw the dead bodies. Ever, do you know that she sent a dispatch to Downing Street? They asked her, tell us what is happening. And she said that nobody died. The British High Commissioner said, nobody died. <laughs> What's it to go now? I warned you. I know this. You know, the thing about blood people is that envy and jealousy will not allow them to reason very well. It was like, like what happened in Lagos. People were upset, calling us live on air. And they went and they moved. And they did what they were supposed to do. Have you heard it now? The British High Commissioner to Nigeria wrote or sent uh, her intelligence, her report to Downing Street. Because the man interviewing the professor is a white man. And they said nobody died. <laughs> Imagine the depth of the evil in such a country. Can you imagine how evil that country is? Before our eyes were koro koro, live on air, I was on air, and they were shooting them dead. The British High Commissioner, the, they are all they think they are smart. Huh? How how do we get people to stop listening to Nam the Colonel? How the, how is this thing? How the, okay? Let's let's say that he he ordered his boys. To destroy Yoruba assets. Yoruba asset is now Tinubu's um, um, inv <coughs> investments and hotel. It's now asset. So the toll gate now uh, in Lekki belongs to Udu, a group of companies. Because they wanted to introduce tribe and ethnicity. So we stop focusing on them and start to focus on ourselves. That's what they want. And British government are the people engineering it. But some of you are blind, you cannot see. And I feel sorry for you, to be honest. I am being, I feel sorry for you. In this <coughs> day and age. I've just had some water. They are lying, despite the abundance of video and photographic evidence. The British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lang, sent a message saying, nobody died. <coughs> and you have elders. You have elders, you have those they call elders, telling you uh, what we can see sitting down. You cannot see it standing up. 
and you're a liar and a deceiver. Listen, please. I want to play that bit again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, the government disputes the fact that people have died. The government is a liar. Is a liar. Do we have a government? We have a government in Nigeria. What is the meaning of a government? A government is a responsible body of people that looks after the citizens and they are afraid of the citizens. This is tyranny. The citizens are afraid of the government. Tyranny instead of the tyranny. Tyranny. Where is the government? Where is the government? Somebody said on the background, Nigeria doesn't have a president, if you listen carefully. And tonight, after rallying in London, you got 10 minutes of garbage, of edited, badly scripted, deep fake video. That's it. He, the, the, uh, a full on a cabal, they are talking to you as if you are there. You are their slaves. They can do whatever they like and get away with it. And uh, most of you indulge them. Most of you indulge them. And that is why they have the temerity to be doing what they are doing and saying what they are saying and ganging up against our children and killing them. And all of you are there contemplating not going out. How can you get a, good, a better society? If this bunch of old liars and deceivers are all over there, when they fail, they play the tribal card. And they're everywhere. They're in the East, though. They're in the West. And everywhere, they have their agents. And that man, you're doing, oh, yeah, KBS, KBS, KBS. You don't know he's an agent of the zoo, suppressing and killing you, taking away your destiny. And making your life a living hell. They are the ones that created SARS, didn't they? Did SARS fall from heaven? Did SARS fall from heaven? I ask of you. No, SARS didn't fall from heaven. They created. They are your father. Hey, hey, we are we the leaders of Nigeria. Okay, so you are one of those that created SARS to be collecting our phones. That you're a leader. You are one of those. That created an organization, a criminal, a gang. Gave them police uniform to make our lives miserable. And you're a leader. We Nigerian leaders. Who have, what have you done as a leader? Nothing. Only to steal and to loot. It was Yoruba people that drove away Tinubu. Troy also was his talking garbage, talking nonsense. And people are listening people are listening. Let me tell you one thing that the Fulani always get wrong all the time. They think that all of you are fools. The Fulani Janjawi, they think you people are fools. That is why after killing children, after murdering and slaughtering their own children, this is what they had to issue this evening. Some Nigerians mistook our disbandment of SARS as weakness. This is how you are talking to people you claim voted for you. Very, very sad indeed. Very, very sad indeed. They quoted from the speech that they stitched together. The President Major General Muhammad Buhari has said some Nigerians mistook as weakness the swift response of his regime to disband the special anti-robbery squad of the Nigeria police force. Buhari made this known in a live, this is Punch newspaper, in a live broadcast on Thursday evening. But the editor of Punch newspaper knows that it was not live. But he had to lie in order to get some money. You know black people. He needed, to, he had to lie. He doesn't want to say recorded, but you all know that it was recorded. But the punch a, a newspaper, a newspaper, a journalist is saying it is live. And this is the country you want to belong to. A country of liars and people who specialize 
in peddling lies. That is why they have no good amenities. They have no roads and they have absolutely nothing. And Leon Wodo went and was talking about what happened in Lagos. He never mentioned what people were undergoing in Kano State. Never. He wants to become vice president. Everybody, as somebody told me once, has an agenda. And they call themselves intellectuals. They think that by calling out IPOB, that somehow the whole protest will die down. They are saying where the end SARS protest is going, that it might unseat their masters, the politician. Somebody wrote, that was a, a, a Hagi wrote. It might, it might, you, you know, some people are planning, hey, Oga, I will be your, your press secretary, I will be your SSA on, uh, on women affairs, I will be this, I will be that. These are the idiots defending them. Are you aware of that? People don't actually know that there is a church of Satan. Do you know that? And instead of worshipping God or following Christ as the case may be, or following uh, Prophet Muhammad, they worship Baphomet. Go and Google it. Baphomet. Go and Google it. So no matter what you do in life, people will always turn the other way. You see how this world is. People felt, oh, why is it all the time that God, only God is getting the praise? Why don't I work? Uh, I just want to be different. Let me go and be worshipping Lucifer through Baphomet for no reason. That is how it is in the zoo. In the zoological republic, people will become horrible for no reason. Just for no reason. That's just the way they are. These people, these old fools have been deceiving everybody for very many years. Build bridges they cannot build. Build roads though they cannot build. Build schools they cannot build. Give us hospitals though for where? Give us light. Ah, poor. Then what is, hey, why do you exist as an elder or an elite? What is your hand? What is your job? That's to, they cannot answer. A country where the journalists are liars. Some of them, some of them are true. Some are actually done very well in this series. But now the money has come out and they are sharing it. Punch have received their own. Sahara reporters too have gotten their own share of the money. That is how they are. People always campaign for a so-called change with an agenda. Everybody wants to know what they can get out of it. Some people are protesting, thinking they will call us in Asaroko and we negotiate and I'll become rich and I'll go and buy a house in Dubai. I'll travel to London. Now listen, before I said the broadcast was not live, does anyone disagree with me? Nobody disagrees with me, but Punch newspaper said it was live. That means they have bought them over. Now, let me tell you something you don't know about Nigeria and their clique, the way they form their groups, what they do and how they go about it. They have their people everywhere. They call you on the phone to pressure you to go to their line. You think they are sounding sensible. You think they are being very reasonable. But they are working for their masters. After going through punch, Sahara reporters said Abuja protesters halt action to re-strategize business owners resume operations to give you a sense that, that normalcy has been restored in Abuja, which is a lie. Do you, do you see the way they operate? Very subtly, and for the next few days, that will be the narrative that things are coming back to normal. And I'm asking them, who are the protesters you spoke to or you interviewed? The ones fighting the thugs that the politicians sent to kill them in Abu? Where did you speak to the protesters? They are doing all of these things to condition your mind so you can step down. And if you're a fool, you will listen to them. But we are IPOB. You know, that's why they are worried that um, IPOB joined or is supporting Nigerian youths. That is their worry. They know 
that the much needed backbone is now there. That people are no longer going to fall back very easily. That will encourage our brave young people to continue what they are doing. That is what they do not like. That is what they despise. And that is what they are bitching about. Not tribe or anything of that sort. Katrina Lang sent a message to London saying, nobody was killed. A woman for that. And I'm not sure that that woman uh, has a child. I'm not sure. Honestly speaking. Because she's evil. They are playing you again. They have spoken 10 minutes of edited video. And some of you are saying the president spoke. And I wonder the type of school you went to. 10 minutes. And you said this president has now spoken. And I wonder the type of school that some of you actually went to. I'm telling you the truth. Declare state of emergency on security now, according to PDP. Because their investments are all under threat. From PDP to APC, APC to PDP, PDP to A Every year, all of you are there. Just merry go round, merry go round. And they're sharing the money. No light. Nothing is working. And they're sharing the money. Telling you rubbish about one Nigeria. But I'm very glad that you have all woken up. PDP declare, instead of saying, meet the demands of the youths, they are saying declare state of emergency. Because they are, <laughs> their money is threatened though. That looting they've been doing is threatened. So declare now state of emergency. If you stop protesting, you will die. If you keep protesting, some of us may die. But in the end, the ideal for which we gave our lives will be sustained. And we shall win. Do you understand it? If you go back home, do you think that your life will improve? All of a sudden, uh, you will get a job? Is that what you think? That is why tomorrow we must all pour out on the streets and continue what is a revolution. It is a revolution. You cannot stop. And let me tell you something tonight. People who are not organized must begin to organize themselves tonight. The problem is the army. You must take them down. They, that, they are the problem. And there are strategies in war we can deploy. From tomorrow, if the shooting and the killing continues, everybody must adopt a guerrilla tactic. Put yourselves together in groups of five. And hit them and hit them very hard. That is the only language to understand. These people do not love you. Forget all the nonsense. Oh, we are Nigerians. We need to move this country forward. We need to come together. Rubbish. Rubbish and absolute rubbish. They don't mean it. They are not sincere. These people are not honest people. All of them put together. They lie and they deceive. If you complain too much, they give you some money and you shut up and you start writing rubbish in your newspaper because you want money. Just money, only cash money. They can go up and imagine how the lies they told about us was flying all over the place. They didn't know they were doing us a favor. If you kick a toad, it's a lift because the toad will jump anyway. That is who they are. They don't love you. Nigeria wants you dead. They only want their children and their servants to survive. That is the way they are. That is the Janjaweed way of doing things. That is the full and new feudal way of doing things. They are not talking about the needs of the people. How do we assuage our inflamed youths? No, they won't do it all. Never. To tell you that uh, we had a trader money, we invested four million, we have uh, money for, for 14,000 youths, and we invested uh, 4.8 million. Rubbish, absolute rubbish. For 10 minutes, this is the full and in Asorok. The country that you claim you are presiding over has been burning for weeks, and only, only 10 minutes. He never went to the scene of the look at every other head of state in the world. Once such atrocity happens, 
is to show empathy and concern. He should have flown, or should have, they should have flown whoever to go to Lekki to go and see what happened. To mingle, that's what our passenger would have done. To mix with all oh, Jonathan, to mix with the people, or yet I do for that matter. But uh, this idiot is there tonight. They will say, "Oh, you, you've done very well to come." Oh, 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 blue eyes, Shalaba, Nesu. Aisha is, is his compensation. Yusuf Abubakar Muhammad. And all of you are there as, as, as fools. As fools just looking. That thing you are doing on the street is your passport to freedom. It is your passport to freedom. Of course, in every revolution, there are bound to be collateral damage, of course. But those people will be adequately compensated when the time comes, when victory is won. So we must remain very resolute and determined. This evening, I have a line. We now have two lines, please. And listen to me very, very carefully. I beg of you. I beg of you, please. We are going to have one line for diaspora and another line for those calling from Nigeria and Biafra land, please. Two WhatsApp lines. One is for the diaspora and the other one is for people who are in Biafra land and also in the, only one is Biafra land and Nigeria and the other one is diaspora, please. And the one for diaspora, please, because they've not spoken now for a while, is plus four nine. Please write it down and pin it if you can. Plus four nine one six two seven eight double one, which is one one double one one nine zero. I repeat, plus four nine one six two. Seven eight one 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 nine zero. That is that line. Now we are going to go over to the other line that I want us to use this very evening. Very, very important. You understand this, please. Very, very important. You understand it. This is now the line that people from Nigeria, the great zoo, zoological republic. This is the number they are going to call, please. This is the number for those who are in Nigeria and Biafra land. Plus four four seven nine five one two seven eight seven zero five. I repeat. For those in Nigeria and Biafra land, plus four four seven nine five one two seven eight seven zero five. I will endeavor to take a call. This uh, uh, <coughs> people from abroad are <laughs> already calling. Oh dear me! The caller on the line, can you hear me? Let us try again. Let us try again. Continue. Hello. Now, the caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? No, they cannot hear me. Oh, the, even the line is jammed already. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Good evening to you, please. Your name and not your name, but tell us where you're calling from. We are in Benue State, are you? Hello? They are gone. They are gone. He said zoological republic. And they cut him off. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me for the last time? Can you hear me? No. They cannot hear me. I'll take another one. The caller on the line, can you hear me? 
Yes, please. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Abasa. From Abasa, what is happening there now? Not yesterday. I want to know what happened today. Not yesterday. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good evening, sir. Yes, please. Good evening. Your name and where you are, please. Good evening. evening to you. Your first name and where you are. What is happening? I was told that people in Abuja have given up. Is that correct? No protest in oh because people are fighting the terrorist descent, is that correct? Can you hear me? What is happening this evening? What is happening? I want people to confirm, please, if there was any protest in Abuja today, please, I beg of you. The caller on the line, can you hear me? What is going on this evening? Uh, the caller on the line, can you hear me? Mbise, what is happening in Mbise right now? What is going on? Yes, Mbise has come up fully. All the police station will be gone now. Hey, Chineke no nyebere. That is what I want to hear. All the police station in Mbise down. Hey, Chineke no kusunile nkendiara. Amazing stuff. That is the thing. That is sort of stuff I want to hear. Not, not nonsense. Telling me who, who said... What is going on? Are we are we not? What is happening? Uh, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they are waiting. I, don't, I can't understand it. They said, um, I hope everything is okay. I hope that all our transmission is fine because I, I cannot understand what is going on. Somebody is saying that our app is not working. I need confirmation, please. I need confirmation, I beg of you. I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. Good evening. Where are you calling from and your name? My name is CJ. I'm calling from Jakarta, Indonesia. Jakarta in Indonesia. The world is listening. Please go ahead. Bless you too. Thank you very much. I am actually surprised and shocked. That is the thing about black people. Anyway, I, I don't blame them. The thing is that what they have done and done very, very cleverly, which is what these criminals always do, is to try to intimidate you into submission. Once they intimidate you, you capitulate and you give in and they have won. And I want people to also understand another fact. Do you see how resilient we are? Do you think it's easy? Do you see that IPOB can sustain a protest for weeks upon weeks upon weeks? The killings, intimidation, we are still protesting. Instead of, are you telling me, those of you living in Abuja, that the Janjaweed they are bringing in, they outnumber you? They can intimidate you to stop? Unbelievable. Um, and you want your life to change uh, but you don't want any sacrifice unbelievable people are strange the caller on the line can you hear me please 
your name and where you're calling from, if you may. Oh my goodness. They call her on the line, you can't hear me. I'll go to another person. They call her on the line, can you hear me? Lower your system, please. Take your system down. I can hear my voice. I don't like it. They call on the line. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you, please. Your name and where you are. Because you're calling from abroad. My, my name is Ike Chubu, calling from Turkey. From Turkey. Please go ahead. Yeah. What I want to say is concerning our men on the ground. They are doing a nice job. I must commend them. They are doing a wonderful job because I've been following them since more since day before yesterday. They are doing a wonderful job. But I must say this because you have once said it. I think you said it uh, this morning. They should give people's property. Please, we must caution them. Most we have our own property. Banks, which I know that you said something about that during your program. They should please. Leave two sides is very, very important. You understand? And they should mostly know each other. I got a call from my family about, about what they are doing in knowledge after maybe collecting some things from police and all those things. They are now using it at the street against people, collecting care phones and all that. No, that is not what we want. It's going to stop from tomorrow. All that nonsense, all that other that idiocy will stop. All that nonsense is going to stop from tomorrow. I warn them, you don't do that. Anyway, sometimes there are some criminal elements. These are ex talks of politicians anyway. It's not, it's not people. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about that. Even in any good, the bomb bank, I think, in Galiki and some places. That's not what we want. Because one, a lot of people are looking at us to see what we are doing, maybe thinking that uh, we are the ones, maybe telling them to do what they're doing, why we are, we are not doing this. Even you, you still it with your mouth. They should not go to police. They should not even attack anybody once they did attack them. Unless police attack them first, before they will, they will uh, attack them also, which is self-defense. You understand? So exactly. So just stay clear of people's property. It's very, very important for us. And focus on what we are doing. And focus on what we are doing. Thank you, sir. You, you spoke very well, and I like that. I don't like it. You know, they don't understand. You are damaging your future. You go to the police, you disarm them, and then you're using that very gun to rob other people. You are putting yourself in danger. You, you, as you're doing it, your entire future is gone. If this revolution is defeated, you have no future. You have no future. Please. The caller on the line, can you hear me? My goodness, the calls are so, so, so much that everywhere is um, jammed, to be honest with you. Absolutely jammed. The, the line for even the app has stopped working. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, dear me. The caller on the line, can you hear me? I have a caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. They can't. The caller on the line, can you hear me? They're not following. The caller on the line, can you please hear me? Yes, Marzi, good evening. Good evening to you, please, your name and where you're calling from. Yes, my name is Hugo Chuku. I am calling from Canada. From Canada. Please go ahead, we are listening. I just want to uh, uh, first thank you for all the things you have been doing. And I want to quickly uh, put a word of encouragement to the Nigerian youth in Lagos that they should not relent. No matter the tribal division that the Jagabans and the uh, Fulani are trying to break, that they should not relent. They are doing a good job. And also, I want you to issue an order that any Fulani that attack private uh, businesses in Lagos should be brought down. Thank you, Marzi. Thank you very much. Uh, we have told them from tomorrow all that is going to change. If you attack any private business from tomorrow, you're a gunner. And some of the people who we are shot dead are idiots, fools, fools, stealing and looting, stealing and looting when others are busy carrying out a revolution. 
and they shoot you and you die. Fools. Fools. I, I don't, I, anyway, you, some of you will not fail to, 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 to disappoint. Very sad indeed. The caller on the line, can you hear me? I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, please give us your name and where you're calling from. My name is Ekene Dilichuku. I'm calling from Mrs. Oloka Government, area of Lego, Enugu State. Uh, what, is, what is happening? What is happening? Why are people looting and destroying private properties instead of protesting? Why? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I made a mistake through my introduction. I'm right now in New Delhi. Uh -huh. I want to make a <laughs> Go ahead. Sir, I thank you so much for your enlightenment and encouragement. And I also thank our Nigerian youth. And my contribution, my contribution in this revolution is that they should not let any tribalism or whatever or religion to bring them down in this in this in this struggle because this is our time. This is our time to take what belongs to us, what our evil politicians have been holding for so long. And I also want to make some advice regarding those of so-called Igwes or Hanese and this and that who have been bringing Janja Willis the story in our land. This is time to fetch them and bring them down. And again, and again, I want to I want to advise our youth that is there protesting for this struggle. They should not go against any individual property. We know our problem. Our problem is our politicians. Our politicians, that is the problem we are having. We don't have any problem with any civilians. Our civilians is our neighbor. That is who, whatever we need, we can run to them and they will provide us. But whoever takes what belongs to us is the politicians, not the civilians. So please, you have to advise them to stay away from any civilians' property. They should focus on our politicians, even politicians, and those so called or are the They are the ones we are having right from the beginning. Thank you so much, and I say, we should go to God, I'm keep on keeping you, being with you, and giving you a good head. You say, you say, thank you very much. I don't like people looting, that is criminality. It's not good. You will make our revolution to fail. I knew that those in Abuja, uh, uh, the, the reason why the protest cannot continue in Abuja is the, is because it is symptomatic of what Nigeria is all about. That's what it is. Because people, they felt that people protesting are not from the north. And for that very reason, they should not protest in Abuja. It's very, very sad indeed that they cannot come together as one block, strategize and defend themselves. Very, very sad indeed. Because they don't want to, people to march to Asarok to ask to see a, a Buhari, so to speak. So we must change all of that. It is not good. That is not how you're going to be free. People, what they are saying in effect now is that they are going to be slaves forever and ever. And that is sad. The line has crushed. This very line here has crushed completely. It is no longer working. It's working in a limited. It is very cold. The caller on the line, please. Where are you? And give us updates, please, if you can. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. From here, my name is Pastor Jack. Although they are fluctuating our network here, yeah, all the network, they are just fluctuating it. So that is why most of the call coming from the zoo here. They are not stressed. That is what they are doing to us here. We subscribe all of our lines. They kept on frustrating our network here so that we cannot get through. That is why, number two, I want what to understand that Ohanese, right from Nairobi to the rest of them in Lagos, Lagos state government paid their salary. I have it. I had it from a, a good authority. They placed them on salary at Bank Road in Lagos State. Yeah. Which is why anything that we say, it had to be in consonant or in support of the Lagos State government. That one is what they are not dead from Lagos State. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
immediately two events that took place here today. One close to Oba, Ikeja, and this time that we fly in, they unleashed them again and they were attacking some person's shop there. And uh, some of our Odudua brothers tried to confront them. That one is one update. And another one, uh, some persons, after after the vandalization of Oba, Oba SARS, they discovered that there were some palliative that they hit that, uh, they, that we are meant to be distributed to the people. So they went to a particular warehouse at Monkey Village, uh, somewhere at, I think at the Yama, and they discovered 600, 600 warehouse where they hit all these palliatives and uh, they opened that particular warehouse. In fact, both police, both army, because they were away, the palliatives to run away. To tell you that they don't have government, these were palliatives that was made for people since May this year. So certain persons went and them in different uh, 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 different uh, warehouses and people were suffering and they were cutting you know, this they opened the warehouse and they were cutting it away and they started at uh, at Ikeja. but meanwhile tomorrow they say the protest continue or whatever debris or whatever that is here he's saying that one is for himself thank you very much his name is his name is yusuf abubaka mohammed that's his name uh, Jubri ran away from Cuba. Thank you, and a very good update as well. Thank you very, very much. If the line hasn't crashed again, Lord have mercy. There are so many calls. I don't know. Maybe we need to upgrade our technology to take these calls because they are flooding in. They are flooding in, I tell you. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller, the caller on the line, can you hear me? And where are you calling from? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Ghana. From Ghana. Please go ahead. I'm calling from Ghana. We are hearing you. Go ahead. Mark, I greet you. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Say what you want to say. Please go ahead. You what sort of support do you need? You are in Ghana and uh, hold on, you are in Ghana and you need support in Ghana. I don't I don't understand that. Maybe somebody will help me make sense of it. How can somebody who is in Ghana need support? I don't get it. The network is very, very awful today, I'm telling you. Very, very awful. Very, very awful today. Very, very awful today. And we'll, we'll keep trying anyway to see if we can speak. Yes, the caller on the line, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Very well. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And good evening to you. You are calling from where? But you have called it you have called the line meant for people in Biafra land and Nigeria. Please call the main line for those of you in diaspora. The calls are just oh dear. <laughs> Unbelievable is is plenty, plenty of calls. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good evening, sir. Good evening to you. Your name and where you're calling from? Marzi, my name is Ruben I'm calling from London here. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Did you go to the protest? Did you go to the protest? We don't lie. We are under order. I didn't, I didn't went there. Why not? What is that thing that came up that made you not to take a day off work to go and protest in London? Uh, it's something, it's something um, a little bit serious, but we don't lie. We are under oath. We say it the way it is. Of course, of course, yes. You are trained not, not to be lying. Marzi, I'm very happy to um, speak to you tonight. Marzi, uh, there's something I need to tell you. You, you don't worry yourself about uh, whatever Hanese and people are complaining about. Uh, whatever they are writing, garbage, whatever garbage they are writing, don't, don't even think about it. The whole world knows the truth. And they have seen the truth. So, whatever they come up with and saying uh, it was attacking Yoruba's uh, business, don't worry. Don't, I've told our people, don't think about it. Yoruba elders are not idiots. They are not cowards. But I don't know if you're hearing me. Yes, I'm mean, loud, loud oh, of course, loud and the whole world is hearing you. Go ahead. Uh, Yoruba and 
leaders are not cowards. They know what Rugo have done to their people. So don't, I, I don't want our people to uh, emphasize in those rubbish they are writing. All I'm concerned is to keep blessing you and give you good, 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 uh, 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 good uh, uh, health. That is my own prayer every day for you. And I want to make it clear, Mazi, yes. you know what is hearing my voice. Yes. Nigerian government try anything to touch you. You see what is happening in Nigeria now? It's a child play. We are IPOB. We are all over the whole place. And let them not think, see, Nigerian government, <laughs> you think that uh, the whole world are not watching what you are doing? You think they are stupid? They are not stupid. They are watching. They know what is going on. Before you even ask, they know. So don't think that their satellite is not watching you. You, you kill people's children, you lie. You come out and think that you can deceive. Okay, let if you and uh, I want to ask the, the uh, Nigerian government, Jesus himself, you and the Western world, who is going to deceive each other? You think they don't place their satellite on you? You think they are stupid? You think they are daft? They know what is going on in Nigeria. But we are just asking them to do the needful. We are not whatever is in our land. Are, we are not asking anybody that you are not going to take it. The business should be done accordingly, but we want to secure the life of our people. Mas the employing I do agree uh all over the world, but to come to accept us. The ones in America, I will be here uh call our our own as well to let know that James Bowie has sent those around the good Nigeria. I mean, come to get flat to our people. She placed them on notice now so that they will not let our if my brother is listening, you should let him know. Send those proofs. You should know. We will rise. Uh, uh, the line is not very clear. I have no idea as to why that is the case, but we shall see. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller calling with 234, can you hear me? I can hear you, my leader. Pl Good, evening, sir. Good evening to you, please. Where are you calling from? My name is Kenichi. I'm calling from Lagos. Go ahead, please. We are listening. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you for your good work. Uh, I have a few things to say. Go ahead. Number one, I want to say, sir, I don't know how you can be able to uh, uh, manage the, the, uh, the protesters, especially here in Lagos and other places, for us to begin to gather in one place because since after what happened on the uh, on 20th there has not been gathering in one place as it used to be uh, and it's being roaming from one place to another i think that is exposing some people to be picking or to be shooting to be killed one one or kill them one one and they are back home too the same thing is happening if there is a way we can be gathering in one place and we'll have volunteer or people to come and guide the, the crowd. That is those number one. Another thing I want to say is that I I been strongly believe that our Yoruba brothers are ready to do this uh, with us. But my question is that what of because I don't know how long they are going to last because there are a lot of secret dialogue that are going around within Lagos here and consulting some balance and all that to calm the tension of the uh, Yoruba people. I don't know what we have on we the BFRs, what are we having on ground to make sure that we 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 sustain this pressure because I have some of us our faces are everywhere in social media. I know that if we mistakenly lose this uh, 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 revolution, many of us will be out of Nigeria for life, and some of us will be picked up in the streets and slaughtered like chicken. So I don't know what I know. I don't know the, the, the strategy or the plan that you have on ground that will make sure that we, the Biafra, will not miss this golden opportunity that I've given to us. Marcy, thank you. That's just what I want to clarify. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. We'll have a question and answer tomorrow, and then I will be able to answer your question. But right now, we are going to do everything we can to sustain the protests. It must continue. They, I said to them before that you must gather in one place and stay in one place. After that, you can disperse or people can keep vigil, but you must sustain it. But in the usual zoo style, people are giving up. That is what they always do. They always press you and you give up. 
Because of the application of wrong strategy, you must gather everywhere and stay in one place. And anybody who has a drone, people who are protesting, you fly your drones up, get somebody to operate it. If you know shops where they are selling drones, please go and talk to them to give it to you. Once you have used your drone and you have signed up for it, we will pay for it. Use drones to monitor what is happening around you and relay it live to the whole world. If you've missed this opportunity, all of you are full and slaves forever and ever. I'm telling you the truth. Slaves forever and ever, you are gone. Britain will be smiling and then, yeah, of course, um, that's bye-bye for you. No more light in your life. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good evening to you. Your name and where you are? My, my name is Ndok Solomon. I'm calling from Abuja, the zoo capital. Why did you guys give up? Because the thugs attacked some of you and everybody ran away. Mazi, our men are always ready to do anything. The thing is that this Fulanis, anywhere we go to protest, they come to attack us. But many people give up so, and we don't get information where they are having protest. So even yesterday, our people were attacked by 2 a.m. So we have to regroup and pursue them back. So, and uh, this whole thing now, I'm sure they are coming back. But our people, we are fearless. For that we are in the heart of Black Red, the zoo capital, but nothing is happening. We are ever ready for anything that will happen. Our problem is that few of us that are in this family, in this family, we cannot do it alone. If others we are, we are, we are the one that we are guiding these people, each time they come out for a protest. So what, what, yes, I'm listening. So what they're saying in effect is that the so-called Nigerians in Abuja, they have given up. They are no longer coming out because the government used thugs to intimidate them. So which means the alliance of the corrupt have succeeded in wearing people down in Abuja. But it's not something they can try in Biafra land, but um, and other parts of the Middle Belt anyway. People must, if they can say no in Abuja, I'm sure there are satellite towns and other areas where people can go and continue to protest. That is what they must do. They must continue to protest. And we must prepare, of course, the country are rubbish in Biafra land. Um, we must prepare for this. They are useless thugs anyway. Accompanied by the army and the police, they cannot succeed. That is Africa for you. You've heard it. People have been protesting all over the world, some of them for months. And I said it, you must sustain this thing for five weeks, but they brought their thugs, no means of defense, and people went back to their houses. Back in the south, it is continuing. We are not going to relent in this. All that nonsense can happen in the Janja. We do not. That is our business. But now, Abuja is taken, has been taken over by full and people forever and ever. It's gone. The Baki people will suffer it. Write it down somewhere. They will keep every year they're complaining. We have no representation. We are, and that's it. Their life is over. It's over. It is over and over and over. And very sad indeed. I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear. It keeps saying reconnecting, reconnecting. They're not doing anything, just saying reconnecting. I don't understand it. And I believe that on that, the caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. The, the lines are, are just, just too many calls and people don't want to wait. They keep calling and calling and calling and calling and calling. I do not understand it. But I do thank each and every one of you for calling this evening. And I do also need to get some rest. And some of you, please, 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 if you're going out tomorrow, do not attack banks. Don't attack private businesses. We've been saying it. If you do it, you will derail. You know, we are black people. We are black people. We are not as mentally tough as white people. That is the truth. You may not want to hear it, but it is the truth. Mentally, we are not tough. If you are not disciplined and you come out for a protest, you will help our enemies to defeat the purpose of what we are doing. Please don't attack private businesses. Do not attack it. 
do not attack any banks. I beg of you. If the police fire at you, you catch them, you kill them, and you destroy the police station. That is the order you've been given. Anything else you're doing is entirely up to you. But it must be peaceful where the environment permits it. I thank you very much, all of you, for having listened this very evening. We are reconvening in the morning for our usual question and answer. I will take your calls tomorrow and answer all your questions. Chuko Kikabi, I'm a willing. Once again, you must keep the faith. You must remain very strong and resolute. If this opportunity is gone, that is the end of you, your future, and that of your children. Please, 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 no matter what you do, remain safe. But for me, from here, it's good evening.